What's going on guys, Lewis here with Precision Camera in Austin, Texas, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Sony Xperia 1. Now I will admit, this is gonna be a tool or a device that isn't necessarily for everybody, but for my tech people out there, or people who like having a really great quality camera on their phone, I think this is gonna be a really, really great option for you. So one of the first things that we're going to notice about this phone is that it's actually a little bit longer than most of your iPhones or traditional phones would be. That's because it's at a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. It's got a 6.5 inch 4K HDR OLED display, which makes it really great to see not only your own photos and videos, but streaming services like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, and Google Play also have 21 9 videos coming. And to go with that really high quality display is the Dolby Atomos high res audio that sounds pretty good. So let's talk about the three different cameras that you get with the Xperia 1. All three of them are gonna have a 12 megapixel sensor, but are gonna be three very different focal lengths. You're gonna get a 16 millimeter F2.4, a 26 millimeter F1.6, and a 52 millimeter F2.4. All three of them are gonna have image stabilization, but the 26 millimeter is gonna be the one with optical image stabilization. The other two are gonna have electronic image stabilization. So let's talk about the side of the phone. You're gonna get a dedicated camera button that's gonna be, even if the phone is uh, shut off, if I just press and hold, it's gonna open up right to the camera. I'm gonna have an on and off button, a fingerprint reader on the side, which is kind of cool, as well as a volume toggle to go volume up and volume down. You're going to get 128 gigs of internal storage, and if you need any more than that, right in the same tray that you put your SIM card, you're going to get a spot for a micro SD card. It's going to charge using a USB-C port, and that's also going to have the fast charger. It's going to make it pretty quick to bring it back up to full power. It's also going to have a 3330 milliamp battery, which is a little bit more than your iPhone 11. Keep in mind that it does have a pretty epic display, which is going to drain a lot of that battery, but it definitely has the battery power to back it up. It's an Android phone, so anything that you're used to, if you're already an Android user, is gonna be super easy to transition into this guy. And a really cool feature that Sony put in here that is also in their pro level cameras is the eye autofocus tracking. It works a lot better than I thought it was going to, and it makes it for a really fun shooting experience. You're also gonna get an impressive 10 frames per second when shooting with the Xperia 1. And I think the Xperia really shines in the video features. You get to shoot 4K high quality video and are given the Cinema Pro app. The Cinema app is gonna give you a lot of really cool features that are typically left exclusive for high level cinema cameras. You're gonna be able to adjust your LUTs, your shutter angle, as well as a dozen other things in the app, which makes it a really high contender for the video world. The phone does come unlocked, so all you gotta do is put your SIM card in it and you're set to go. At the time we're filming this, it's gonna come in at a price of 950 bucks so come stop by Precision Camera and check out the Sony Xperia 1 for yourself. Oh, 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 oh,